Hey guys, this is Lord of Reviews, and uh, this is just going to be a video about the best render settings for ScreenFlow. Um, the most popular uh, screen recorder and video editor for Mac is definitely ScreenFlow. Uh, it's just because it's so fast, it has a very easy to use editor on it, it but it has, still has tons of features you can use, and it's just a very all-around great program. Uh, there's many people that have it, but there's one problem with ScreenFlow that pe many people don't have. The speed of its of its screen recording is is just unimaginable how fast it is, but the graphics aren't always quite as good. So I'm going to show you the best render settings for screen blow to get a good, clean HD quality video. The downsides to this are it may take a very long time to render your videos, and it may take up a large amount of hard drive space. But in exchange for this, you get a very good quality video that a lot of people understand, and it'll probably get more views because it's betterly it's. Ah, uh, easier to understand. Well, I'm going to open up a window in ScreenFlow now. Um, I don't have anything on here, but once you're done adding all your video effects and all your stuff and finish making the video, a lot of people pretty much know how to make a video, uh, I'll probably make some ScreenFlow tutorials later, but just go File, Export once you're done, how you would normally export them. Then name it something like Tutorial Thingy. You want to name it? You know, want to name it something that has to do with your video because the metadata will be encrypted into your video on YouTube, and you don't want to name it poop or something like that. All right, then choose the area you want to save it to, just like normal, and then go to here and choose Web High Best Quality. A lot of it's automatically set on Web High almost all though always, but of course there's all this other stuff. But choose Web High Best Quality for the best uh, web. All right, now click customize and it comes up with movie settings check video sound and prepare for internet streaming then go settings under video change the compression type to h.264 just go ahead and click on it again so it resets all the settings with h.264 next go every 24 frames current fps data rate automatic and then the quality of the compressor change it to best then okay next go to filter and make sure it's none then go to size, and then go dimensions, 1280 by 720 HD, and then click OK. Next, go to sound settings, and make sure it's AAE, stereo left, right, 44.100 KHZ. You don't have to press show uh, advanced settings, but you can if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. Go to quality and change it to better. Do not ever change the quality to best, or else it'll make your audio lag during, uh, during play playback of the video and always change your target bit rate to 192 because 192 and better match up to each other so the audio never lags but if you go if you go to best no matter what you put this on it'll always lag up your audio and it'll make it a horrible video because this just makes it so it just takes up way too much bandwidth so just I highly suggest you don't put it on best better 192 okay now go prepare for internet streaming and change it to fast start now okay now go scale the custom size here in dimensions and type in 1280 tab 720 and don't check letterbox content after that simply press export it may take a little longer with these higher quality settings but it'll definitely make give you a much better quality video than you're used to and it'll be perfect for youtube streaming with with really good quality it may even go up to 20 uh, 720p on youtube which is a eight, which is an HD quality um, uh, frame rate. So, basically, that's pretty much it. It's just this is just the best render settings for ScreenFlow to get a very good quality on YouTube. All right, this has been a Lord of Reviews tutorial. Bye.